record. So sorcerer skills. Um, I'll just talk about the effects of the skills and how to handle them to some situations. So first, the the ultimate dragon tornado. It can be boosted by its damage by burn burn stocks. You can have burn stocks with flame orb or flame strike or emulate. Flame orb only inflicts one burn stocks also in flame strike, but emulate can uh, can inflict. Three, 3 burn stocks over time then upon the last hit of dragon tornado if you use vortex or soul devour or boat there's a chance to trigger silence upon the last hit like vortex last 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 tick of damage of dragon tornado there's a chance of silence next is flame orb simple damage just one uh, one burst tax one burst tax upon hit and burst tax effect is let's see here burn 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 stocks per stock is minus 25 spell death next is pros orb upon use you'll have plus 100 accuracy then one chill stock for the chance of uh, stunning the enemy you have to land critical first uh, see this when hit occurs then you'll have a chance to stun the enemy so critical first then a uh, plus stun chance boost depending on your stun chance and their stun resist next is vortex Vortex is uh, minus all damage reduction and one darkness tax. Darkness effect is enables the buff silence blind and silence resist minus 2.5. So when using dark vortex, if you want to increase the all damage reduction of dark vortex you use all the board first if you want to increase the increase the silence silence chance you use vortex first then soul the board thunderstorm debash kill uh, Simply just damage. Use cross orb or cross and block or blizzard first for chill stock. Then you'll enable the bash bash up the thunderstorm. Uh, no additional effect. Magic shield. Magic shield is absorbs damage taken and bash damage reduction additional. If you use Bermillion, uh, and butter, Phoenix Embrace first, then magic shield. You can have two magic shield first before you get to another Phoenix Embrace. Then, if you if you still have a shield, it 
uh, the effect of the shields boost the shield will be boosted by 30% so from 39% the shield will be boosted by 30% after that if you still have shield then you activate shield again then blizzard blizzard uh, chill stocks also pala to uh, to increase the chill stocks of frost or blizzard or frost and black you can use reaper the ultimate of reaper So you can have three chill stocks in one nano in one skill. The stun chance of blizzard uses the deb sack. Then minus movement speed, not really big deal. Then stun sack after. Uh, yun lang dev suck then stun suck uh, monster monster saan ba yun dito character so dev suck for increase of chill then 35 to 40% chance of stun depending on chill stocks so you, let's say you have 3 stocks when you use blizzard then you'll have 45% plus your stun success boost this next 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 chain lightning like thunderstorm it's just damage yeah just damage no additional effects to enable the bash bash up chain lightning use blizzard cross or bore cross and block just like thunderstorm flame strike this is used to Lessen the skill HP recovery amount of enemies. Like Taoist, Greater Heal, and Heal. Also, Ultimate Arbalist, The Cloaking, Darkest, uh, ano ano dito? Chain of Blood. Warrior, Repose, Dancer, Absorb. Those are the skill HP recovery. Also, Vortex has, has, the, has that effect too. Minus 40% and uh, minus 50%. So you can stack this both. Vortex and Flame Strike. So the board for Blind and Silence. Darkness 2. So depending on Darkness Stacks, you'll have the all damage reduction like Vortex. Next is Emulate. Emulate. You can use bash of emulate by using Tawis Quell, their Moonlight Orb and Moonlight Wave. This Quell, Quell for 8 seconds and Moonlight Orb Quell. You need their Quell first to enable your bash from emulate. Tama ba? Yes, yes. Next is Phoenix Embrace or Vermilion Embrace. 
additional CDR spell attack. Yeah, just that. Frozen block. Um, mm, 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 mm. Frozen block. You just need stun sack for frozen block. The dev sack is just for movement speed minus. So the higher the stun, the higher the chance you can stun the enemies in frozen block. Then, 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 then. The animation cancellation. I have a video of that in my YouTube. Let me see. You can see this for the animation cancellation for the sarks. Sarks skills. The content of that is just to. Ah, uh, tungo dito. Use evade, use evade and ulti, ulti for skill cancellation like this or this. So basically, in that video, the only useful to Useful skills to animation cancellation. Animation cancel is only these two: thunderstorm and chain lightning. Because if you skill cancellation this vortex or the boar or blizzard, you have no effect, just damage. See that just damage, no vortex. Vortex effect. No debuff. Same way it's all the war. No debuff. But if you don't cancel it, there you have debuff. So it's not recommended to cancel cancel out these two or this two or blizzard. Next, um, apa bah? Your surroundings to your advantage. Ah, let me let me find some cliff. So here I I am in the cliff. So what you want to do? If you don't have line of sight like this, you don't have line of sight. Or like this, I in in the picture here you have line of sight there. Uh, let's there you have line of sight. But if Kosu in the top moves here, there's no line of sight, right? So as long as you're in range. But you're in range, still in range. You use this four. You use this four skills. So if you use another skill like press R, you just you just move like that. But if you use Blizzard, Thunder, Vortex, or Soldier. If you're in range, you can use it like that. But in Frost Orb, you need to have line of sight. There. Chain Lightning, line of sight. Play more line of sight. No line of sight, but it's still in range. The Blizzard, 
vertex and this part uh, emulate is just for on your same level or if the enemy, enemy just double jump and not like there in the middle of their double jump not in the middle of their gliding you can you can hit them in the middle of their gliding so emulate mostly in ano, same ground same level Then here in the the last picture is a wall. Same with the cliff. If you're in the cliff, if you don't have line of sight like that, you can use press orb, thunder, or this these skills. So you don't have line of sight. You're blocked by a wall. You can use this. You have to move here to have line of sight. But if you use this for Blizzard, Vortex, Soldier, and Thunderstorm, I not in range. Let, let, let. Here, 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 here. I'm in range. You can use this thunderstorm. I'm in range, but no line of sight. If you don't have line of sight, you have to move move from here to here. See? So you can you can land land skills on enemies first before they catch you they have to move they have to move to gain their line of sight first and ano ba ba? i think that's it